Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun and educational next raker video. Right now I'm about to show you 5 genius ways that you can sneak food into class. By that I don't mean little snacks, but actual breakfast, lunch, or even dinner for those of you who have a night school. But of course we can't get this video going without announcing the winners of the last giveaway. So pay attention please. Congratulations Dready Girl, you will be getting a box of 50 snacks. And the winner of the hoverboard is... A and A Squad. As far as the winner of the PlayStation 4, I will announce on my next video as we are very close to reaching our like goal of 10,000 likes. As I always say, these giveaways were made possible by you and your support, so thank you guys. Now, as far as the giveaways for this video, once this video gets 1,000 likes, I will give away another box of 50 snacks. At 5,000 likes, I will give away a drone that records video. And at 20,000 likes, I will give away two Nintendo Switches to two lucky winners from the comments. And to participate in these giveaways, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me which are your favorite fast food restaurants. Also guys, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel with all your notifications turned on. That way you'll know sooner whether you won any of these giveaways or not. Again guys, all it takes to enter these giveaways is a like and a comment. Let's really push to get those 20,000 likes. Best of luck pranksters, now let's get this video rolling. Alright, this is the perfect hack for those of you who skip breakfast and are starving in class. You're gonna need a large box of crayons such as this one right here. This one contains 64 crayons. So that's a lot of space that you'll have in here. Also right here I have a supplies box. And inside you guys can see that I have some pencils in there. And uh, markers and pens. I don't need these things. So I'm gonna get rid of them. I do however have this glue bottle which will come in very very handy for this. Also guys this supplies box I've used it in my previous video. Well it has to be super clean in there because that's where we're gonna eat from. And if you guys remember I have a secret compartment right here which we will also need to use for this. But we'll get to that in a second. First we're gonna get this glue bottle. This one's brand new by the way guys. See? It's got a bunch of glue in there. You need to empty it out and clean it as best as you can. Do the best job that you possibly can when you empty this out. And just like that, here it is guys. It's empty, it's dry, so I can do a lot of things with this bottle. But I'll set it aside for now. I'm also going to empty out this box of crayons because the crayons in there are taking up the space that we'll need. So let's get rid of these as well. And remember that these come in four compartments so they can easily come out. There's two and there's another two which equal four. So all 64 crayons are out and there's nothing in there. Now this crayon box guys, we're gonna fill up with some cereal. And my cereal of choice will be these Cocoa Puffs. And I don't know if you guys tried these but these are really good. And I really love these because when you pour milk into them, the milk turns into chocolate milk. So it's like magic, right? So let's go ahead and pour some cereal into this crayon box. And you don't have to fill it up all the way, but since I'm low on cereal, I'm just gonna pour in as much as I can. All right, let's dump it in. There's my cereal right there, guys. So now I can close up the crayon box and keep this handy in my backpack. Now, as far as the glue bottle, like I said, we can pour anything in there and of course we can't have cereal without milk. So that's what we're gonna pour in there. Since I don't like regular milk, I like almond milk, that's what I'm gonna use. You're gonna have to be really precise about this but you should be able to fill it up. All right, perfect. And we all know that milk is white so it matches the color of the original glue that was in there. Once the milk is in there, we're gonna put the nozzle back on so screw it on tightly so it does not leak and also tighten the top. And that's it guys, you have milk at your disposal, just put it inside your supplies box. So I'll just close this up. And as far as the secret compartment that I mentioned, it'll be useful for our spoon because again, we need to be able to eat our cereal and without a spoon it'll be hard, right? So a spoon will definitely be a big, big help to this. So let's close this up. So while you're in class and whether your teacher's talking or not, if you're at a distance from your teacher, even better. So, what you do guys is you open up your supplies box, you take out your milk, well, in your teacher's eyes it'll be just your glue. Also get the spoon handy. So, we're gonna take our cereal that's inside the crayon box and we're gonna pour it onto the supplies box. Alright, that's a lot of cereal guys. 
and then we're just gonna open up our glue bottle and again our teacher will not be looking in our direction at this point so we'll just pour our milk in there cool perfect hey and I have a little bit extra that I can chug right now last but not least my spoon which I can use to eat my cereal here's the cool part about this supplies box you guys can use the lid to block your teachers view so your teacher won't even know what you're doing because the lid will be blocking their view so you can be eating your cereal, enjoying it, and not starving class. Because nobody should have to starve in class when they can pull off something as cool as this. Enjoy guys. Have you guys seen these before? Well, you probably aren't familiar with the flavor, but you are familiar with the brand, Pringles. What I like about Pringles is that they come in this really cool can. And of course we've all seen this can. It's a really tall can and inside it has chips as I'm about to show you right now. So let me remove the lid and the seal. Oh wow, Mr. Pringle is putting up a fight. Ah, all right, got it open. So guys, what I'm gonna show you right now is a cool way to sneak these into class. But not just these, but also some bean dip and a soda. Whoa, this one's Sprite. I would normally go for Pepsi, but the Pepsi machine didn't work. So I'm gonna be using Sprite for this one. First things first, we gotta remove a few of the chips in there to make room for our soda and our bean dip. So, you guys can either eat them, enjoy these, share with a friend or whatever, but we only need about half of those in there. So I'm just gonna get this napkin, unfold it, and then dump out all the chips in there. All of them. We'll put half of them back, but right now we need to get rid of half of these. These actually remind me of the Ruffles. I don't know if they're knockoffs or Ruffles. I don't know, but they're still good. They have ridges on them. All right, so for now, I'm gonna set these aside. Now that this is empty, we can begin to work on it. So we can't have this in class because the label will give it away. So we're gonna have to cover the can. And what I have here is some paper, which I'm gonna use to cover this whole thing and pass it off as a school supplies can. So all I'm gonna do is wrap this around it to cover it. See how simple that was guys? And with a piece of tape, I'll hold it together. Actually, I'll need a couple more pieces. You can't even tell what's in there, right? So now guys, I'm gonna take my soda can and again, this is a Sprite and I'm gonna open it. And I'm gonna put it inside. I'm actually gonna have to lift this up from the tab and guide it in. To be able to have access to our soda, we're gonna need a straw like this one. This one's a bit longer than the can, so I'm gonna have to trim it down a bit. Okay, once you trim down the straw, put it in. Now, as far as the bean dip, we're gonna stick it on to the lid. So, with some glue, I'll do just that. Try to apply a bunch of it on there, and then I'm gonna stick it on. Why I chose bean dip, guys, is because it's more solid and it doesn't really drip If because this is going to be actually hanging upside down. So let's open it up. And see, guys, if we were to flip this upside down, it doesn't drip. Like, for example, if this was like salsa or maybe cheese dip, it would definitely drip and we don't want that. At this point, we can start adding some chips in there. So we got some chips in there. We can put our lid back on, which has the bean dip. And that's it guys. You guys can choose to cover this if you want. I think I should because this looks suspicious. Luckily I have this decorative star that I can just place on top. With a little bit of glue, it'll stay put. On the can I'm gonna write supplies. So my teacher knows that these are supplies. And not just any supplies, school supplies. Cause we are at school. So here are my school supplies and I'll just have this handy on my desk. Of course I'm gonna get hungry throughout the day so all I gotta do is remove the lid which will contain my bean dip and look at that I can get some chips and I can easily enjoy this. Oh wow these are good! These are really good guys but I gotta wash this down somehow. Luckily I have my straw handy which I can sip from and I'll be able to wash this down with it and if I want another chip all I gotta do is get some beans and enjoy. Mmm delicious! And if you sense the teacher's approaching you just put everything back. Just like that teacher won't ever suspect anything because these are just school supplies. 
So I went to McDonald's and I got a Big Mac and some fries and I'm going to show you guys how to sneak these into class. Although guys, you must know that results may vary depending on the supplies that you have. I myself couldn't find a big box to actually fit this Big Mac in, but that's okay because we can easily just take out the Big Mac. See? We don't need the actual box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this burger into this little paper bag. I'm actually going to trim it down a bit. I'll just put the burger in there. Perfect. So I'll set the burger aside for now. When it comes to fries, the easiest way to do this is to actually get yourself a crayon box like we've been using already. So I'm going to open this up. All right. Oh, yeah. When you open a crayon box, you're most likely to find crayons in there, obviously. So we're going to remove these because we do not need these. So let's get rid of them. And guys, we will be replacing those crayons with our fries. So let's dump them in there. You might be able to fit the whole thing. Let's see. Did I get a big enough crayon box for this? Yep, a lot of them went in there. All right, so I'm gonna close up the crayon box and we have our fries in there. But I myself don't like eating fries without ketchup. So you can either pack these along with your fries or do what I do, guys. Take a clean pencil sharpener that's never been used, such as this one. And I actually used this one in my last video, but I used it to put some nerds in there. Well, this time, we're going to fill it up with some ketchup. I'm going to empty out a packet in this. And why not? Let's do a third one. All right, so we got plenty of ketchup in there, as you can see right there. Now, as far as the sharpener, when I remove the top, I can actually also remove the sharpener part of it. So now all I have is this little closable lid, which I will put back on, and that's it. So now I'll take my supplies box, guys, and I'll put my crayons in there, along with my burger. It'll be snug, but it should fit in. And also, my ketchup. So let's close this up. Notice that the top is transparent and you guys can see that there's crayons in there, obviously. You can't make out that there's ketchup in there, but you notice that this is a school supply and this could be anything. So if you have this on your desk, your teacher shouldn't really be suspicious about what you have in there. But when your teacher is distracted or not looking or goes to the bathroom or whatever and they disappear, all you do is open it up and you're gonna have to be fast about this, but eat your lunch really quickly, guys. Take out your burger. Look at that. There's my Big Mac, my ketchup, and my fries are inside this crayon box. See, guys? Yummy. That was very easy to do. So please, eat with caution. Do not get caught. And most importantly, do not starve. As I'm making this video right now, Flu and cold season are in full force. Pretty much everybody has caught one or the other. Anyway guys, when it comes to having a cold or flu, well let's just go with cold because if you got the flu, you're going to be staying home. So if you got a cold, you might want to carry some of these. These are tissue paper and they come in handy because you have a runny nose. You need to be able to wipe your nose. So if you have this on your desk, your teacher not only will understand that you would have this on your desk, but most likely your teacher will stay away from you because teacher won't want to catch the whatever it is that you have so guys this will help you sneak some food into class and by food I mean some hot Cheetos and a soda again the Pepsi machine was broken so I could only get coke this time unfortunately but it'll do so we'll set these aside and begin working on the tissue box or as you some of you guys know it Kleenex let's open it up either side will work and look at that, it's very, very full, it's full of them. We're gonna pretty much take out all of them. We'll put some back, but as of right now, this whole stack is coming out because inside, guys, we are gonna place our chips in there. So I'm gonna open up my Hot Cheetos Extra and I'm gonna put them inside. It'll be a bit snug, guys, because also, we gotta take our soda can, open it, and put it inside the Kleenex box. All right, so my Coke is in there and so are my Hot Cheetos Extra. As far as the side, obviously it's see-through and you guys can see that I have food in there and we don't want that. So we're just gonna put a couple of Kleenex in there just so that it blocks up the view 
of our food and nobody can actually see that we have food in there. All right, and we have blocked off the view. So we're gonna keep this box on our desk vertically. Don't place it flat or horizontally, guys. Make sure it's vertically and make sure that you kinda, kinda close up the flaps on top so that it looks closed and your teacher will see this and not suspect anything. The issue here now is, guys, we can't have access to our soda. But we can easily fix that by taking a straw and putting it in there. So now we can just pull it out a bit and sip from this. Again, we have easy access to our chips. Just look at that. I grabbed the chip. Have this on your desk and enjoy not just a little snack, but this is quite a big snack. So you might want to share with your friends if you want. Uh, we just happened to go to Popeyes today. If you don't know what Popeyes is, guys, it's a really good restaurant that is mainly known for its chicken. But lately, there's been a big craze over their chicken sandwiches, which is what I got right now in this box right here. Let me open it up for you guys. See, here's my sandwich. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Well, if you want to be able to enjoy this in class, you may want to do the following. Oh yeah, and also I got some fries as well. So first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take out our food from our box. We're gonna set it aside for now. Actually, there's some wrapper here that we're also gonna remove. So we'll set this aside because we're gonna work on this box. All right, so let's look at this box. Inside, it's plain white color. There's a couple stains in there, but that's fine. But on the outside, you can clearly see the logo. It says Popeye's on there. On top is obvious and also on the side. So our teachers would be able to know what this box is all about. But if we were to actually undo the flaps, you know, we, we've done this trick so many times, guys. But we've never done this with a Popeye's box. So let's undo the flaps. Be careful, though, because we do not want to damage this box at all. See guys? Easy stuff. And now we're left with this flat piece of cardboard, but we will rebuild it up. Except this time it'll be inside out. And we can use tape to help us out with this. All right, our box is ready and you guys can see that it's inside out. It's a plain white color. That's what we need it to be. We'll put the wrapper back on there. The fries. And last but not least, the sandwich. <laughs> that looks really good and we're gonna sneak this into class. So let's close it up. And on top, we can write, again, school supplies. So our teacher will know that there's supplies in here. So that is it, guys. You don't even have to cover these up because from far away, teacher won't be able to see them. But if your teacher's walking by and sees a white box, nothing to be suspicious about. But when they're not looking, just lift it up and enjoy your food. Especially this sandwich right here. Yummy, it's big. See how simple and easy it was to sneak all that food into class? It doesn't really take a bunch of work to achieve that, just a bit of preparation. The idea of this video was for you guys not to starve in class when you're trying to learn. Now guys, at the start of this video, I gave away a few cool prizes to a couple lucky subscribers and I also announced three new giveaways. Once this video gets 1000 likes, I will give away a box of 50 snacks. At 5000 likes, I will give away a drone that records video. And at 20,000 likes, I will give away two Nintendo Switches to two lucky subscribers from the comments. So if you wish to participate in these giveaways, please like this video and leave a comment below. The end goal is to get 20,000 likes, so let's go for it guys. With all that being said, good luck pranksters. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.